Earlier this week, I came across a rugged asymmetrical tactic that is unpredictable and very difficult for the AI to actually defend against. This tactic is inspired by Fletch the Source, in fact it's actually Fletch's tactic. I did ask him for advice of how to improve the 433 and Fletch actually just told me to scrap the tactic altogether and then he suggested that we go about creating this particular tactic and this rugged asymmetrical tactic went on to carry a team that was predicted to finish in 18th place in the league and took them all the way up to 6th position. And the tactic has a balanced mentality which is why I actually like it but for some reason I went on to test it with attacking mentality and I'm going to show you how that actually turned out in this video. Now I could have tested out this tactic with almost any team but then I went on to use three teams from the Peruvian league. The first team is Alianza and they are actually predicted to finish fourth in the league. The other team is Canto Lao and they were predicted to finish 18th in the league. The other team is UTC and they're somewhat mid-table predicted to finish in 10th place. But first we'll look at the results of the teams with the balanced mentality included. So look at Canto Cantalao now. Cantalao actually finished in 7th place even though they were predicted to finish in 18th place in the league. They had a goal difference of 4. It's quite okay considering that they are supposed to be one of the worst teams in the league. Finishing in 7th place was actually a very big step. The Peruvian league is somewhat tricky because it's split into kind of two phases. There's an opening stage and then there's a closing phase. We see here in the opening phase that Cantalao were actually in 8th place as of the opening phase and when they came into the closing phase they went all the way up into 6th position so they are doing quite well and even towards the latter stages of the competition they are still doing quite quite well. So for longevity say the tactic actually works for a very long time. It's not something that the AI can adapt to very quickly and it's still unpredictable. UTC were the other team that were actually predicted to finish in mid-table and they sort of had a mid-table season as well. In the opening phase they finished in 10th position but then in the closing phase they actually went all the way up to 8th position. To me they didn't do that well compared to the other team in Cantalao so it's awkward how a team that is actually lower in the rankings was able to outperform a team that is sort of mid-table. Alianza on the other hand were actually the ones that performed well. They were predicted to finish in 4th place but they went all the way up to 2nd. They've only lost twice in the opening phase and then of course three times in the closing phase. Sitting in second place, they have a total of 81 points. One point short of the team that is actually first in the league. So they could have easily won the league. It depends on how many times they actually lost some games. And if you look at the competition stats, the teams that are actually leading the position is Garci Lasso. They are the best team in the league, obviously. And then Alianza are in there from fourth place all the way up to second with the most goals of 95. Just two goals away from being the best scoring team in the league. Possession wise, Alianza is also in there with 54% possession. They're doing quite well as well. But remind you, this is the balanced version of the tactic. You will be shocked when I show you what happens when this team actually go attacking with the tactic. Now with the attacking mentality set up, Alianza's manager actually got sacked in the process. But if we look at Cantalao, they actually finished in 14th place. So they got a few steps ahead of where they were supposed to, but not so great. So we notice that for some reason, the tactic isn't doing very well with attacking mentality. So I have to warn you there, when you're playing with this tactic, you have to use a balanced mentality. UTC, on the other hand, were in ninth place as of the opening stage, but then in the closing phase, they actually dropped all the way down to 15. So it wasn't even working well for them at all. But looking at the competition stats, if you look at the team stats, you see that the most goals in the league were scored by Alianza. They were able to get up to 104 goals now. UTC and Cantalao have similar goal scoring records with their balanced mentality. So it means for some reason, with the slightly better team if you go attacking it could help you get more goals but if you're a mid-table team or an underdog team going attacking is not going to help i feel that is just something we need to be transparent about when we're actually showing you how the tactic turned out in every scenario so we're going to go through the tactic in detail now in case you want to recreate the tactic for yourself and so let's go about creating the tactic it doesn't really matter much shape which we start with but we're going to start with the goalkeeper and of course the goalkeeper's instruction here is just to play as a super keeper on defend duty and then for the central defenders they're actually ball playing defenders let's say all three defenders are ball playing defenders but the only difference between all of them is that the players on the wide hand side or the players on the left and on the right have this dribble more instruction assigned to them so that's the one thing that i know was added to the player instruction most of the player instructions that i added i actually added them myself fletch gave me the tactic without any player instruction so i went on to tweak it myself and then add some interesting player instructions in there so for the wing back, you have one wing back here on the left hand side, but on the right, we have a defensive winger. One of the, you know, makeshift roles that kind of came back in FM 2024. It wasn't really a major role before, but it's really working this year. So beside him, you're going to have a Regista, one of my favorite roles this year as well. Regista on support duty, and then ahead of him, you have a central midfielder, but this time he is playing on attack duty. Now ahead of him, you have a shadow striker on the right hand side over here playing on attack okay that's the only instruction for the shadow striker and then in attack you have the one player here on the left hand side linking up with the central midfielder on attack you have a false nine on support duty so these two are going to play alongside each other 
and then they advance forward yeah this player is going to stay as an advance forward he's going to link up with the shadow striker and they too are going to create a lot of havoc in the opposition's defense this is very difficult for the ai to defend against so let's look at the team instructions now starting with the out of possession instruction first you're going to want your team to play with a high press and a much higher defensive line because you want to compress the entire pitch and just push it into their faces and try to stop the opposition playing through your players next you want to play with a much more often trigger press and, and try to prevent the short goalkeeper distribution and that is basically all you need for the out of possession instructions when your team is in transition then you're going to counter press counter and of course distribute the ball quickly this time asking the goalkeeper just to roll it out now in possession is actually where i enjoy the instructions the most because for fm 2024 it has sort of worked this way for a while we're going to start with a narrow width and we're also going to ask the team to play with a very high tempo now but the passing directness is going to be shorter you also want to exploit both flanks and the only other instruction to add now is the low crosses instruction so this is how you can go about setting up the fletch asymmetrical 43 destroyer that's what i'm going to call it i don't think fletch actually gave this tactic a name did he oh bizarra something called bizarra it's actually an interesting name to be honest so this is basically the unpredictable shape that makes it difficult for the ai to actually defend let me know what you think about this shape on football manager if you go ahead and try it let me know how the result works out for you for more football manager videos like this do also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications bell so you can get notified when more videos do come out and if you have interesting tactics that you want to share and then show us how they actually work you can let me know in the comments as well and i'll reach out to you or you can just reach out to me on twitter or x that we call it now and we can have a look at your tactics so i'll see you in the next video